Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle, and today I am going to unbox the January cloth and paper sub box. It just hit my doorstep today, and I have no idea what's in here except for the sneak peeks that Ashley did on um, happy hour. I have no idea what's in this box. So, I'm going to be saying it for the first time with you. I can't wait to see what's inside. This is my uh, only my second box. So I've just been planning with cloth and paper since November. I love their aesthetic. I love their inserts. And I love just how simple and elegant and classic their designs are. So I signed up for the sub box to kind of stockpile my planner inventory and also see some of the things that I may need that I don't know that I need. So uh, if this is something that you want to see, then go ahead and take a seat, get comfortable, get your iced coffee, and let's get right into it. So let's just go ahead and dive into this box. All right. So we have some sticky notes, some pans. So I sign up for the uh, pan and the planner box. So I get pans too. And put this box out of the way. And let's just start with the journaling cards. All right. Always remain open to turns and surprises along the way. You never know when you're going to do your best work. Be willing to experiment. I like that. I like these little genre cards for reminders. Um, I don't always put them in my planner. I just don't have room for them, but I just keep them close as um, just little inspirational messages that I can read to myself. And this says, um, from the ground up. You can start with nothing and out of nothing and out of no way, a way will be made, Michael Beckwith. Okay, and I guess that's just starting with nothing and it's working your way around, okay. Oh, I got a February card. I was hoping I was gonna get one of these every month. Uh, so I, the one I got in January, I put on my desk and I reference it often. And I was hoping I would get one every single month. So this, this is nice. So this is a tent card and you just fold it and they go together like so. And then I just tape the bottom down so it stays flat. And um, I just sit it like on my desk and this is one for March. So they went ahead and sent the March one. Okay, so I don't even have to wonder about March. Awesome. And it's in a gray tone instead of the white. Okay, I like that. Thank you, cloth and paper. Okay, so this is what's inside. So I can actually describe to you guys what is in and tell you exactly what is in this um, sub box. So all right, so I'll put that to the side for reference. And this is um, just a blank monthly card. We got one of these in the January sub box too. I didn't use it. I didn't really find a need for it, but uh, I'm sure somebody can. So uh, it's always better to have too much than not enough. And um, this is a journaling card. So it's Nova Turiant desiring or seeking powerful change in one's life or situation. It's an adjective. And on the back, this month we're focusing on project management. Choose a long-term goal you hope to achieve and write a step-by-step -step plan of execution. And there's a place for the date and a line section for notes, okay? And the pen test sheet. So this is for my Pinspiration box and I always open that last. And we got some sticky notes. These are peel sticky notes in ash. They're transparent, you get 50 sheets. I just did a whole sticky note ha uh, haul from cloth and paper. So I have all these sticky notes. And these are white and you know, they're, oh my gosh, what do they have on the back? So they have the shiny material on the back. Huh, interesting. Okay, I'm curious. They have my curiosity. Okay, so let me just grab a sheet of paper. 
Okay, so I just grabbed one of my daily inserts. And if you just put it on there. Okay, so totally transparent, but uh, it has a little section here that is highlighted in a very soft gray. And okay, all right. Sticky note, I wonder what pens can write on here. So this is my, um, my friction erasable pen that I use for my planner. And let me just see if I can write. Okay, so it writes on there, good deal. Okay, I just wanted to see what pen would write on there if I needed a special pen. All right, good deal. All right, so let's see what's inside. And apparently these cloth bags are something new, but they're really nice. I mean, they're very high quality and I don't really do anything with mine, but I hate to throw them away. So I've just been kind of stacking them um, in a cloth and paper box just so I can have it if I want to use it in the future. Okay, so I know what this is. They did an unboxing or reveal of this on the, uh, one of the happy hours. And so this is a sticky note holder. Okay, and it's made out of stone and it has a CMP logo at the bottom. Okay, nice. And I just got some sticky notes. So let me just put some of my sticky notes in there. Ha, ah, nice. Okay, I can put that on my desk. Uh, appointment sticky notes in Aspen. So these are matte sticky notes and uh, you have a place for the date, time, location, and a follow up and then a blank space over here to write notes. And I love this color. I love the really soft muted colors that um, they have in their color palette for all of their supplies. And I did see this on either Happy Hour or the uh, Cloth and Paper Instagram page. And these are the Progress sticker set. Okay, you get 30 stickers, one of four, they're matte. And these are all the shapes you have. So it's basically um, stickers to use in a pie chart or some kind of a chart to record your um, progress on your project management. So these are the bar graph stickers and all the various lengths, really pretty colors. I like these colors. And okay, so these are pie chart stickers in Lagoon. They're matte and then you get the same set in Saddle. Nice. Okay, so you'll probably get a set that matches all the colors of the bar graph. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing, cloth and paper. You're coordinating, like you always do. Nice, I like it, I like it. Okay, I like a coordinating set now. <laughs> okay, this is what I love about cloth and paper. I, I think they are just so creative and so thoughtful in how they put together these planning supplies. That's why I subscribe to the sub box and I am super excited, I got a dashboard. So guys, I am putting together my, uh, my planner. It's already put together, I just haven't planned uh, the final flip through video yet, but I needed some more dashboards. <laughs> so I was hoping I would get some, um, let me, okay, let me, let me stop flipping. And so I didn't place an order because I was waiting on my January sub box to get here. So this is the Essentialism Dashboard Duo. Our Essentialism Dashboard is layered to give a feeling of space and depth. On the front, a quote from Gregory McEwen is printed in transparent vellum. In the background, embossed letters, meaning less is better. With the simplicity, this dashboard inspires you to create the architecture of your ideal life. So less is better and this is, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Okay, it don't tell us what this is because this is like hurting my eyes. But it's really nice, it's on a nice vellum, which I like, and it's layered over this uh, dashboard in the back. So yeah, it's got the texture on it. I'm super excited I got a dashboard. That's one less dashboard I have to buy. That's why I subscribe to the sub box. All right, and then the project management inserts. This is 
so on point guys because I have several projects going on at work and I'm like you know I really need something to just simplify managing each of those projects okay so there is a dot grid section at the top for notes and a place for two places for a date okay so your start date and your end date there's a dash in between and then a line section on the bottom this looks like this is for task because you can check it off here and then you can also check it off over there okay nice and then on the back is your timeline. Okay, so the project management insert, execute your ideas with our project management insert. Each template features tools to organize details and streamline the process. Headers mark the duration of each project. The dot grid provides a versatile space to draw graphs, sketch ideas, or write notes. Columns divide to-dos and sections for the date, the task, and the check mark. Okay, so the date, the task, and the check mark. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Finally, the timeline creates a visual roadmap for each step. Every aspect was thoughtfully designed to help you accomplish your goals. And so this is the visual timeline that I guess you would use these um, bar graph stickers for and your pie chart stickers. Okay, good deal. They go together, perfect. I was hoping I would get um, some of those SWOT analysis sheets in here, but I just write my own. I just write my own SWOT analysis, but it would be nice. It would have been nice to have the sheets in here too, since they're focusing on project management. Okay, and this is just a sample sheet of uh, how to use the project management inserts. And I wish I can get this closer, guys. Hopefully you can see that. And one of the reasons I don't use uh, the manual feature on my camera is sometimes guys, I will film a whole freaking video and it's out of focus. So I just can't, I have to be on an autofocus situation. Okay, so this is the Project Tracker Notepad. So start the year off right with this new functional notepad to track new habits, projects, or goals. The grid and pie graph layout lets you visually show your progress and promote accountability. Use in conjunction with the new progress sticker set. So you would use the bar graph stickers, I guess on this part, and then your pie chart stickers on the bottom. And it's a notepad. I love me a notepad. I don't know if I'm gonna use it for project management, but I will run through a notepad so quick. So I love getting notepads. Okay, so this is the Pinspiration box. All right. Okay, so this is the pen test sheet. So you get five pens each month with the Pinspiration box. And I signed up for this because I'm new to planning and I don't have any really special pens. So I wanna just see what pens are out there and figure out which one is my favorite. So you just have to peel, pull that little red um, nib protector off before you can write. This is the Cozy Fine in 0 0.5, and it has a, a nice rubber section right here so you can grip, and it's a clicker, and it has a nice clip here. So this is nice. I like when it has a little clip because if I like the pen and it's too big to fit in my pen loop in my planner, like this one looks like it is, then I just slip the clip right here in the pen loop and that's how I keep it in my pen. So this is a cozy 0 0.5. Okay. It's okay. Not bad. And this is the Shans Spinball Gel 0 0.5. Okay, so what's good about the gel pens is you can write on your transparent sticky notes with the gel pens. Okay, so these two feel the same, the Cozy and the Shan Spinball Gel. And I guess if the pen is 0 0.5, then it's probably going to feel about the same. This one is the Tanko Line 0.5. And this one is also a clicker. It has the rubber at the bottom. This one has rubber at the bottom too. So they all have the rubber grip at the bottom. Tanko line 0. 0.5, all right. So this one actually 
feels better on the paper than the other two, even though all three of them are 0.5. This one, I don't know, it just feels better on the paper. It's a little bit smoother and I like a smooth pen. So right now, Tango is my favorite. I'm gonna put a little asterisk by that one. So this one is my favorite right now. It just kind of sinks into the paper. And this one is pretty, it's gradual. It is a highlighter. So let me highlight my favorite pen. Okay, the Tanko. Ooh, that's kind of dark right there. I do like the color though. And then the last one is Art Paradise. So this is the other highlighter. So these are about the same. They look pretty much the same. Interesting. All right, guys, so here are all the goodies that came in the January sub box. The theme for this month's box is project management. So these are all tools designed to help you stay on top of managing your projects and meeting your task and deliverables. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. My next video I plan to upload is my flip through of my Louis Vuitton GM Agenda Planner. Uh, my final flip through on how I set that up. I have been using it for work. It's my catch-all planner, so I use it for work and for home. I get a lot of functionality out of it and I use it every single day. So I'm gonna post that flip through video soon. So please make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss that upload. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.